what? You haven't heard of this brand before? Let's go check it out. Okay, let's talk about Charles and Keith. So I ran across this brand um, as I was kind of just browsing about um, luxury alternatives and I was checking out my local secondhand market and this brand has come out a few times on my social media feed on Instagram and such and I'm like, you know, I never heard of this brand or I have never really paid much attention to it so I decided why not look into it and I didn't find that much about it on social media so I thought maybe I'll just do my own research and just share with you guys what I found so Charles and Keith looks like comes from humble beginnings is a co company that started in 1990s with Charles and then his younger brother Keith um, worked at his parents shoe store and hometown for this entire company was Singapore so um, officially Charles and Keith was founded in 1998 and now it's expanded worldwide to over 300 outlets worldwide and in 2011 notably a uh, luxury good conglomerate Louis Vuitton, uh, Moet Hennessy, LVMH was a big um, companies under is acquired 20 percent of the brand i feel like this is a signal that like this might be an up-and-coming brand given that L almost everything that lvmh touches almost turns into gold like louis vuitton and all the other brands that they own like they just do such a good job with the brand management that i can really see charles and keith getting up there in terms of like popular luxury fashion house that people be into um I looked a little bit on the website which, uh, they mentioned about how they believe in social environmental responsibility and they have made active effort to support and uh, progress and sustainability and conservative conservation it's i'm glad some of these fashion brands are paying attention to the social responsibilities as well but um i guess into the media discussion is that like what about the handbags? What about the Charles B. Keefe and handbags? Is it something that is worth looking into? So browsing around the website, there's a couple that has caught my eye so far. I'm going to start off with a couple that I feel like is pretty iconic and is things that I will actually consider including into my collection. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this gorgeous mini Gabine Sadel bag. So it comes in different sizes and it's very reasonably priced like the mini one comes at 86 dollars canadian and at this time i think visually is the color away including cream dark green and mustard they all look so beautiful and it capped off of a magnetic closure and it has a little bit of a kind of flat matte hardware in the front i think it just looks so classic and it's a wonderful bag to wear casually and uh, it has adjustable strap as well the only thing is the material is false leather so if you're okay with more of a casual bag but just want to try out different styles it will be a, a great bag to consider another one i look at with the charlotte bag which comes in many different colors as well i love how the strap can be shortened in a way so it could go right underneath your arms or you can have a crossbody bag but it totally speaks to like many a very kind of exquisite so classy look and i love how some of these small side bags are very form and structured and i think it just looks so much more expensive than 83 dollars canadian than what it's market for another one is the quilted turnlock evening clutch which almost looks like a chanel kind of inspired style clutch it comes in a uh, different sizes the one i'm looking at is a small size and for canadian dollar of 73 dollars i think is totally very reasonable to try out if you're trying to figure out if you want to spend more money on a luxury brand that costs way more but like I think it could be a very nice dressy bag and it comes in so many different colors it looks so cheek as a clutch um, so I think it's something that I would probably add to my wish list as well they also have a black 
kind of a metallic accent double handle bag which works as a bag that you can put into your arms or you, it actually comes with a removable strap that you can put over your shoulder and no matter like whatever the season i feel like this bag is very minimalistic but the large side tote is pretty timeless and overall like it has a magnetic closure as well for a little bit of security so definitely something i'm considering on my wish list along with other ones on this website but as i'm browsing around they also have a new bag called the aspen metallic belt bag shoulder bag which works as both a belt and also a shoulder bag it reminds me a little bit the center of belt bag but it has a little bit more versatility and um, you can see that it's decorated with a chain link um, that you could add as well as that buckle in the front but I can see it being casual something that you can roam around the city with and feel super chic it comes in beige orange and different colors but definitely something that draws the eye for something that would cost way more than what they're offering they're suggesting here the next one is the mirage Mara, Mar maria uh, chain strap crossbody bag um, this one is a small size and it's currently out of stock but it is $93 Canadian it does remind me a little bit of the Tory Burch bag it looks very elegant and edgy and it looks versatile in that the strap can be adjusted to be a crossbody or just underneath your shoulder it has a nice really clean black finish and looks very effortless and it's decorated by the sculptural kind of metallic turn lock closure which really stands out and makes it pop so i think this bag will match nicely with dresses and pumps and make it look really refined there's also the cabin crossbody bag which i'm looking at the red color that pops you can attach a chain separately as well to make it look a little fancy but it looks practical in the sense that it can be a belt crossbody bag as well can really elevate the look seems a very good errand bag that you can just throw on your essentials and head out for the day there's also the Aurora long bucket bag that's $79 Canadian reminds me a little bit of the Alexander McQueen bucket bag but not as um decorated with the straps but it definitely looks very unique and it's a very cute bucket bag that looks pretty iconic and i can see myself wearing it on occasion probably not as versatile with my wardrobe but if i have the budget this would be a beautiful bag to try out and I'm sure it will be a great conversation starters with friends and family and introduction to the whole Charles and Keith brand. So just so you know, um, this entire video is not sponsored by Charles and Keith. I just want to share with you my experience looking through the website, learning about the history of the brand and just like admiring the beauty and designs of some of these available handbags in affordable prices. There's this new one that's on the website called chain link strap shoulder bag i'm looking at the black one i love the silhouette of it and the little bit of chain on the strap is just so edgy and cheek at the same time it just looks so sophisticated with the kind of trapeze bag and the black is very versatile and oozes like elegance i love the gold tone chunky chain in particular but oh my gosh i can imagine myself using this casually and also maybe dressing it up but it looks like a pretty big bag for you to put your essentials in as well one of the things i love about this brand is how subtle and minimalistic the logo is um or the name brand name is on the bag i am not a super fancy person so i do like how some of these bags don't have giant logos sticking out 
And yeah, if you have time, check out this brand. I am so excited to continue following the journey about other bags that will come out. They do have、um, some shoes and wallets and other types of accessories as well. But it has a very long list of available bags that I think will capture your attention. and Perhaps it looks like there has a variety of bags that will be good for a lot of people to like, <laughs> depending on your style. There's so many different styles, that's what I'm trying to say. So many different styles to love for this brand.、Um, there's a couple bags that I want to add to the list, including the Aurora Metallic Accent Chain Handle Bag, gives me the Ariel Disney vibe. But so pretty, and also the Pafuto padded shoulder bag, which I think looks so classy and comes in a couple cream colors and even black or gold hardware.、Um, that I think kind of h a v e a whole Chanel vibe as well, which I probably drawn to because I love the Chanel brand. But it's recently priced around $103 Canadian or $93 depending on the color you choose. So Overall, very reasonable in terms of pricing, generally less than $200 Canadian, and has a good entry level price for you to try out, especially if it has a shape or size、um, similar to another brand, luxury brand that you like and you want before you're spending too much money on it. Try it out in a more like Easy entry costs. So, I hope you enjoyed this video about Charles and Keith and the handbags and some of the top handbags that I found that are super eye catching. So, if you like more of these videos, please consider l i k e and subscribing. It really does help with the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone, and stay safe.